Hey everyone, Luis from Phone Arena here. Contrary to the popular opinion, acceptable smartphones with 4G LTE connectivity under $200 do exist on the USA market. In fact, we're pleasantly surprised by all the options that a budget just north of $100 can present to you these days. Granted, none of these five contenders from Cheapsville are made of flagship material, but they do seem to get the job done without breaking the bank. Take a look for yourself. First, we have the Lenovo A916. At the price of $134, the Lenovo A916 is a dual SIM smartphone with a 5.5 inch HD resolution display that's powered by an octa core MediaTek CPU paired with 1GB of RAM and 8GB of storage. There's also a 13 megapixel rear camera that's coupled with a 2 megapixel front cam. The battery capacity is set out at 2500 mAh. All is fine and well in this smartphone's core specs department, but US customers should be aware of the phone's limited LTE band support. Also, the phone runs under Android 4.4 KitKat, and although it's been out on the market since last year, it still hasn't been updated to Lollipop. If these factors aren't deal breakers for you, consider the Lenovo A916 a bargain. Next up is the Lenovo Lemon K3 Note. At a price tag of $167, the only lemon about the Lenovo K3 Note is the lack of stateside LTE band support. Otherwise, this is a bright yellow Lenovo tablet with a 5.5 inch 1080p resolution LCD screen that's also powered by a MediaTek 64 bit CPU paired with 2GB of RAM, 16GB of storage, a 13 megapixel rear camera, a 5 megapixel front cam, and Android 5.0. Meanwhile, a 3000 mAh battery unit is providing the power supply. You can bet on dual micro SIM connectivity and expandable storage as well. Next up is the Blue Life One. At the price of $150, this is a very affordable, nicely specced out smartphone that has no problems with US LTE bands whatsoever. It's a dual SIM device with a 5 inch HD resolution screen, a Gorilla Glass 3 covered display, and performance wise, the Blue Life One is powered by Qualcomm's modest 64 bit Snapdragon 410 quad core CPU. The Blue Life One comes with a 13 megapixel Sony IMX 135 camera with a LED flash, along with a 5 megapixel front cam. There is a 2420mAh battery inside the Blue Life One and the operating system is Android KitKat. With only 8GB of internal storage, though you will have to get a micro SD card at some point. Next up is the Huawei Honor 4 Play. At the price of only $134, the Honor 4 Play by Huawei is a bargain for sure. It's powered by a quad-core Snapdragon 410 CPU that's paired with 1GB of RAM and 8GB of internal storage. The 5-inch IPS display has a HD resolution, while the 8MP rear cam and 5MP front cam provide a little more than expected from a phone in this price range. Throw in dual SIM, a 2000 mAh battery and Android 4.4 in the package and you've got a cheap smartphone that covers a lot of ground. And finally, we have the HTC Desire 610. At a price of just $130, this HTC phone is a good bargain even if it's aged a fair bit. What you're looking at is a smartphone that's definitely designed by HTC and no one else. It's also equipped with a 4.7 inch QHD resolution screen, a Snapdragon 400 chipset with 1GB of RAM, there are 8GB of storage, an 8MP rear cam, a 1.3MP front cam and there's a 2040mAh battery powering the mains. The Desire 610 runs Android KitKat and is a 4G LTE connected smartphone courtesy of its Qualcomm chipset. Thanks for watching. For more interesting devices and news, check out phonearena.com. This is Luis. It was a pleasure presenting to you.